Hey guys, how you doing? It's James here from J-Ray Games, and today I am playing Beat Saber again. But this time, after so many requests, I'm going to be using the PS Move controllers, using Driver for VR. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. Before I start today, I want to thank you guys for sticking around with me for so long. I noticed that the channel is over 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely ridiculous. I uh, never would have thought that uh, that many people would be interested in this stuff. But that is awesome. Um, with so many headsets being sold out there, I think uh, Sony's almost up to... Last number was 3.5 million, but who knows how many they're actually at. Uh, with that many headsets being sold... If you find this option awesome and you use your PSVR on the PC, be sure to spread the word. Tell people about it and let's see if we can get more people into VR um, because that's the way that games are going. The, the game developers are going to they're going to look at those numbers and they're going to actually develop for that if they see that there's interest there. And I think if, if we want the future of VR to be strong, we're going to need to promote it and we're going to need to support it if we want to see big changes in the future in this area. I know I do. I don't know about you guys. Anyways, back to Beat Saber. So today we're going to be doing the same setup that I did before with positional tracking part two. I'm going to be using driver for VR. I'm going to be using PS Move controllers. If you didn't see that video, check the video up here. Take a look at it. There are a few little changes, nothing major, but uh, there has been new software that's come out since, and I'll talk about it briefly before we jump right into the game. All right, the first thing I want to show you guys here is I am on the latest version of PS Move Steam VR Bridge. The link will be in the description below. It's 1.6.0, uh, released December 3rd, so that is the latest version right now. And uh, you'll notice that some of the things change in here, nothing major. But they did add a PS Move service admin.exe, which is really nice. You don't have to run it in admin mode. You can just run that one. It's going to go in admin mode. That's where you're going to want to start. I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to allow it access. And I'm going to just uh, put this. You don't want to close this. You want to just put it down. So now PS Move service is running. All right. Now I also have my controllers here. Now they've already been paired to the computer. Um, so all i got to do is turn them on. Actually, if I bring up my PS Move service, you'll see that as soon as I do that, it finds those devices, device 0 and device 1. And if I really want to check to make sure they're there, I can just move this out of the way a little bit here and just go into the config tool and connect. Go to my controllers, and you'll see I got 0 and I got 1. Both connected, both paired, both working. I can just exit out of here. Okay, so that's working properly. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to run our Trinus PSVR. And so my, my PSVR is hooked up right now. It's turned on, and I'm going to just run it so that it calibrates, as we've done a million times before. Now, uh, you don't really have to worry about any of the settings here because we are just going to be using it with the driver for VR with the Connect. I'm just looking at my connect. It is blinking. It's ready to go, so that's all good. And I'm going to hit start. Now I am using a Connect 360. I'm not using the Xbox One Connect. Uh, if you do want to use an Xbox One Connect, you need to buy an adapter. I'll put the the link in the description below. Um, you will find that the Xbox One Connect is more responsive. It's faster. It's got a better resolution. So if you can go that option, you want to spend a little more, that is the better option to go. All right, I'm going to just put this down. You can see that my uh, Trinus PSVR is now running. My controllers are connected. And now I'm going to run my Steam VR. All right, and you'll see that as soon as that happens, uh, my controllers come on, but the lights are on. It says cannot connect to a server. Not a big deal. Uh, it just means my internet is turned off or there's a problem with my internet. And so this is all the same settings as we had before. I'm just going to set it to skeleton head tracking. And for hand controllers, I'm going to put it on PS Move Service Not Done Yet. I haven't 
received an update from Greg yet as to whether that's working or not perfectly. It, it doesn't matter. It seems to work well. And then uh, you'll notice that my window in the background is going crazy. I'm just going to go and uh, Alt Tab to select my headset window, and then I'm going to shift Windows right, send it over to the PSVR. All right, now in here, if you remember from the other video, I'm going to go to Device Manager. I'm just going to set my left and right PS moves one and two. We're going to assign them. And when we update this list, there we go. PS move zero and one are aligned to our left and right. We say yes, we want to use PS move. And it says that it started, it's working. And if we go to configuration, we can see how the buttons are mapped. Beautiful. Everything works great. Now you will notice I am in the official Steam VR version 1.2.6, the latest version, not using beta, and it works really, really well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pause the video here. Actually, before that, I should start Driver for VR so we can actually get it going. Let's do that first. And once it starts up, we will now see this come alive. We've got our FPS and our Driver for VR FPS looking good. Controllers are set up. Now we're ready to play. All right, so I'm going to just change my camera over to the play space so you can see how I'm doing this. Okay. We should be up and running now, hopefully. Oh, boy. Yeah, I can see both controllers are responding. The board is still blank, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks. So I'm going to just start up my game from the menu. Um, the first one is Beat Saber, so I'll just launch it from there. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what I am playing on the screen. Now, like I said, that OSVR settings is huge. It's really important because what it will allow you to do is make adjustments to where you are in your chaperone. And it's especially important when you're playing certain games where you need to put yourself right in the middle, like Beat Saber, because you, know, you want to be fairly accurate when you're hitting the blocks. Now, in the new version of um, Steam, you're going to get this bindings menu that comes up. And what you can do is you can just close it and you can just exit out of it with the menu button on the controller. Now, you notice that I'm pretty low. I'm right next to the ground, so this is where I'm going to push my menu button. And I'm actually going to go to advanced settings and I'm going to adjust my height a bit. Let's go minus one. Maybe I want to come forward a little bit. Again, I hope you guys can see this. Maybe you can't. But basically, I'm just adjusting my space. Okay, and now you can see I'm higher up. I can walk a little forward in real in the real world as well. But remember, with the PS Move controllers, you're going to be holding the button. I believe it is. Let me just double check. I don't want to give you guys the wrong information here. It is the select button on the side. That is what's going to recalibrate. So if I hold my hands out and I hold the select button on both, you'll see now they are perfectly in front of me and I can just hit continue. And I can now play a game of Beat Saber. I go to free play. I'll just play an easy game. Let's do $100 bills. That's an easy one. And I can hit play. And you will notice how responsive these are, they are fantastic. I'm not using any cameras. I'm using, well, I am, I'm using the Kinect. But I'm not using any PS3 cameras. I am simply running this off of the Kinect camera. And you can see that my head movements are tracked. So I've got full head tracking, full position of tracking. Oh, it's so weird. I can just barely hear the sound. Normally I'm like dancing to this a little better. Which, by the way, nobody wants to see that, trust me. But as you can see, guys, I am playing this without any problems whatsoever. Now, every now and then, you might have an issue where your controller goes out of alignment a bit. The nice thing about Beat Saber in, in particular is as soon as I hit that select button, I'm going to be pausing the screen. I'll be able to recalibrate if I have to. Let me just do that right now. I'll show you what it looks like. So let's say I'm like, oh, one of my controllers is off a little bit. As soon as I press the select button, it pauses, and then I can put my arms out and recalibrate. But honestly, you're not going to need to do that. Um, at least for me, in a single round, I, I rarely need to calibrate. So what I'll do is I'll wait till the end of the round, 
Then I'll put my arms out, I'll recalibrate. Oh, I can't believe I failed on an easy mission like that. Okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> but as you can see, guys, it works perfectly. All right, and it's a great option. So if you already have a PS Move uh, controllers with your PS VR, uh, you don't have to go and buy anything else except for the Kinect if you don't have one. Um, and you can see that it's going to work really, really well. All right, this option is going to work for many games. All right, this this will allow you to get into some room scale games for sure because I am being tracked positionally. The only time you're gonna have some issues is if you have to turn around, but most games are going to have an option to play in either 180 or 360 mode. So I recommend playing 180 mode and you're going to be able to, like I said, play pretty much almost any game that I can think of because, like I said, most games have that option of choosing between 180 or 360. Oh, I'm not that good at this. This is easy mode anyways for this level because I didn't want to embarrass myself too badly. But you can see that it is more than possible, I'd say it's fantastic, to play games with your PS Move controllers, especially a fast-paced game like Beat Saber. You can see how accurate it is. It's doing a great job. All right. The only reason I might suck, or the only reason I might fail, is because I suck. That's that's not the game's fault. It's me. All right. But as you can see, I'm, I'm playing a pretty easy level here, and I'm having no trouble whatsoever. Oh, oh I think I jinxed myself. Yeah. So wait till this is done. I apologize for the horrible dancing, but this game kind of forces you to get into it. It's, it's hard not to, if you want to do well. And there we go. As you can see, it works quite nicely. All right, well, that was Beat Saber again, and hopefully you enjoyed that and got to laugh a little bit at me uh, dancing like a moron. Uh, <laughs> but as you can see, it works really well. The uh, PS moves work great, and uh, it's definitely an option if you have a PS4 already, and maybe you have an old Kinect uh, kicking around. You can just connect it up and... Uh, and see if that works for you. Uh, it is a great option. It's really easy to set up. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. And also be sure to check out our Patreon as well. Uh, all of that helps the channel to grow. Until next time, I hope to see you guys in VR. See you later.